We are here at the Davidson Water Plant in North Carolina. The demonstration today will include installation of a micrometer 36-inch FPI magflow meter inside of a manhole on a pressurized ductile iron-finished water pipe. To install the FPI mag sensor, begin by threading the compression seal assembly clockwise into the pipe, where the hot tap, saddle, and corporation stop or ball valve are already in place. Be sure that the threads line up and do not cross. Note, for ease, the compression seal assembly can be installed separately from the sensor. Using a large wrench, tighten the compression seal assembly. Align the flow direction arrow on the top plate assembly with the direction of the flow inside the pipe. The sides of the bottom plate should be parallel with the pipe. Place the sensor insertion tool over the captive nuts and lock it into place with the spring locks located on the bottom of the insertion tool. Open up the valve completely so the FPI mag can begin insertion into the pipe without scraping the sensor during installation. Loosen up or tighten the bolts on the compression seal until water begins to leak. Allow the sensor to slide in. A rag can be wrapped around the sensor if preferred. Using the wrench and the high gear on the insertion tool as shown, simultaneously rotate the two captive nuts on the top plate assembly. When you near the bottom of the pipe, switch to the low gear. Continue wrenching on the insertion tool until the sensor reaches the bottom of the pipe. Continue wrenching slowly to apply a load at the top of the sensor, which will force the bottom of the sensor to seat against the far wall of the pipe. Load varies by application. Align the set screw on the top plate assembly according to the specific instructions presented for your meter's configuration referenced in IOM manual number 3012048. Tighten the four bolts on the compression seal assembly, just enough to stop any water from leaking. After the sensor has been inserted and the load adjusted, the shorter retaining rods can be installed and longer rods removed so the sensor will fit compactly in the installation site. The short rods are used to support the FPI mag assembly and hold it in place while reducing the excessive length of the sensor rods for safety and a tighter installation clearance. Thread two nuts per rod about one inch on both ends of the rod. Insert the two short retaining rods through the holes in the top plate opposite of the captive nuts with the long retaining rods. Insert the short rods through the holes in the compression seal bottom plate. Thread a nut onto the bottom of each short retaining rod. Tighten the nuts above and below the compression seal bottom plate to secure the short retaining rods to the bottom plate. Attach the locking cotter pins in each end of the short rods. The next step is to remove the cotter pins and loosen the captive nuts on the long rods. It is important that the rods be stored in a clean and dry location as they are required if removal is deemed necessary or mandated. To install the waterproof quick connect cable fitting, remove the cable cover on the sensor and remove the cable cover on the quick connect. Attach the cable to the sensor. When the cable was attached to the sensor, attach the cable covers together to keep their interior free of dirt, debris, and corrosion. 